Hello and welcome to another video. This is just a short and quick guide on getting a photo ready in Lightburn. Let's start by importing an image. To do this go to the top of the page, select File then Import. Resize your image to your desired size. Select the layer you use for engraving and double-click it in the layer panel, then make sure pass-through is turned off. Next select the image and right-click your mouse. From the new menu select, Adjust Image, this will open a new panel for editing. I like to move my window over, so I can see the changes in the background. On the left side of this window you will see a image mode option, these options are dithering modes. Don't be afraid to test all the dither modes out, but generally Jarvis and Stucky are the better choices. Next is where you put in your DPI. If you don't know your machine's DPI, I will link a video showing you how to find the best one for your machine. Next to this you can adjust some basic image settings like contrast and brightness, there is also gamma adjustment which lightens or darkens the blacks. Next along is the Enhance settings, these settings sharpen the image. You can adjust the amount to apply and the effect of the radius to your image. I would suggest not going too mad on this as it can produce negative results. You can zoom in to see the changes you made. Don't worry about the image looking dotty, this is just Lightburn converting the image to dots for our laser to read and produce our engraving. Now I have the basics set up. I then fine-tune my image by making little adjustments. This image has a lot of dark areas so I reduced the gamma. I also adjusted the contrast a little. Now I want to crop some of my background out as I don't want it all in the engraving. To do this make a shape around your image where you want the engraving to be. Make sure it's set to line. Then select both the shape and image, right click on your mouse then select, apply mask to image. I then flatten the image to just have the photo, this is done by right clicking again the select flatten. Now all you need to do is set your machine settings for engraving, if you are unsure of these, I suggest doing a materials test. I will link this video in the description. This was my end result, I hope it has helped and I see you next video.